Hey guys, Perfa here, bringing you a domination on WMD. And there's a little bit of story behind this game. And, like, so here's the thing. We get into this lobby, and we're just talking. And next thing you know, this clan named, like, Ninja or something joins the game. And they start, and they were, like, they were talking some trash. Like, they were, because a couple of our guys got into 10th lobbies. I think Bosox got 10th, or I mean 15th lobbies, but Bosox got 15th legit, I think. I haven't prestiged yet. But they were calling us hackers and that we suck and we're losers and we have no life and everything. And we're like, alright, alright, we'll just try hard here. So I run in, you know, I'm using my um, <clears throat> 74U class. I have host, as you can tell by the laggy frame rate when I get into firefights. But my goal, I just run up here, you know, I just start taking C. Maybe it'll just screw him up, give me a chance. Like, I don't even need to cap it, to be honest. I'm just trying to get him to panic a bit. But oh well, I die. I don't really c It was worth it, because <clears throat> now... That gave my team a chance to cap B, which we do, I believe. Not exactly now, but... Actually, I don't think B with cap for a while. But, I mean, I've never understood why people just... The moment they see 15th guys, it's immediately... They have to, like, rag on them about it. Like, come on. What? It's like... Does being 15th, does having gold camo make you, uh, make you a better player? Like, like why do you care? I've never really understood that. Like... <coughs> In Reflex, if I was 10th, it's not like I was like, whoa, we got to look out here. I mean, treat it, if, if anyone's over 50, like a 50 first prestige, I just took it all the same. And same thing with, uh, look at that guy just dolphin dive. Um, what else is there? Yeah, I mean, gold camo and Reflex, I never, I was never, like, as I get completely destroyed and outplayed by that guy's knife. But, I mean, go gold camo does not make you a better player. 15th prestige does not make you a better player. Doesn't matter what prestige you are, doesn't matter what pro perks you have, I mean, the better player is gonna win. That's just how it goes, so. Right here, I hear that guy coming, and I look at him, he drops into second chance. What a pro. <laughs> as, and he kills me as he's falling, which is the best part. Gotta love it. We start to lose A. But, after a while here, I start to get a bit on a, I start to get on a bit of a streak, because we start, we basically start dominating him, and I really, like, the thing with the ho with host, with the laggy frame rate is you don't want close quarters engagements. You want to get medium to long range engagements because close quarters you're most likely going to lose because they you have hosts but on their screen like look at that how did I get knifed? That's what I mean but that's exactly what I was meaning. I wasn't there on his I wasn't there on my screen but on his screen I was right in front of him. It's really annoying. Host advantage isn't that big of a deal in this game. Get your bolts to register spot on, which is awesome, but your frame rate will get you killed a lot, and it really bugs me. <clears throat> I don't know how that guy didn't see me, to be honest, but oh well. But I mean, what's with a lot of things about clowns would be, is like, the majority of them is just are complete assholes. Like, you join a game and they're immediately saying how you suck and they're gonna rape your face, and <laughs> look at that pro in second chance. But, um, they, they just automatically call you... They automatically classify you as, like, a loser and all that kind of stuff. And I don't get it. Look at that epic panic knife. And I accidentally had a uh, care package on. I wanted, um, na napalm, but accident. Nothing I could do about it. I was, <laughs> I was already in the game, so, meh. But seriously, I wish we could have GB ward these guys. I mean, I like free wins, personally. <laughs> but these, I'm gonna be honest, these guys weren't that good at all. Like... Wow, <laughs> they they were they weren't that great. They the one thing that I noticed they really weren't doing that well is clearing the area before capping flags. As in, y you know the guy like they would just run and dive on the flags and not do anything. They'd never look around to check check if the coast is clear or anything like that. Just ate lunch. Sorry for the little stutter there. Oh well, like right there, I just out out spray that guy. I guess I'm using. The clearly overpowered 74U. <laughs> I don't think it's overpowered personally. I think it's it's the other SMGs that are underpowered. Yeah, it's overused. The 74U is, but I don't see it as overpowered. <clears throat> if they would give like something like the PM63, if they give that a 30-round clip, I think you could do decent with it. I think it stand a chance. But I do think they need to uh, drop the 74U's damage a bit which would help it. I mean, here's where I pick up a FAMAS red dot and I just start wrecking because the FAMAS is... it's like an ACR. It's like super easy mode. Yeah, I hear the napalm coming and I lie down because I know it's going to kill my frame rate because I'm host as I see this guy running around. 
Just look how bad my fr like the frame rate. You can clearly see just how bad it's going. But the FAMAS is <clears throat> honestly, it is a good gun. It's it's an easy gun to use. That's just it is what it is. It, you can't deny it. It's like it kind of reminds me of like it's basically the new P90. I think it's it's spray happy. It's low recoil, that kind of stuff. It's not the most powerful, but I do think they need to tone down its rate of fire. That's what makes it OP'd. The AUG, even though it has almost the exact same stats, it's its recoil kind of makes it a bit. It kind of balances a bit, not completely, but the re its uh, circular kind of randomized recoil is a lot. It makes it harder to handle. It's just the FAMAS, and it's look at the frame rate just die there. Yeah, I think there's a part in this game. I'm not sure, but there's a game today where, like, some guy called like called something. It was like a chopper or something, and my game literally like my f my screen froze for about half a second, and just nothing happened. <laughs> and I was like, what the hell's going on? <clears throat> But I think one of the main reasons we won this game was because like we weren't using hardcore callouts after about the first minute because we realized these guys weren't too great. But we were giving like you know basic callouts, letting people know like oh they're going B, simple things. They're in mid building, second story A, and that kind of stuff. You got it. Like just let them know. It it can save your team you know a few a kill or two or a death or two and. Like, one or two deaths can result in a flag cap, and that could completely turn the tide of the game. Look at that guy just run around. See, I knew that guy was coming, too. <laughs> As I stun him. That, you gotta embarrass the people in second chance. That's just how it, how it works. I will mostly revive him if they're on my team, like, just because I... Honestly, I want to win. I'll revive him, but I don't like it when they use it on the other team. I'd really wish they just take it out of the game. They should bring, um... What, what perk was that? You should bring overkill back and put it as a first perk. That way, like, Ghost would actually have to have, like, a run for his money. I don't see, people would say overkill Overkill would be overpowered, but I don't really see it. I mean, oh, I can't really talk about overkill. I'll save it for next calm. But that's the game, like, 27 and 7, I believe, for caps. 11 defense. Yeah. <laughs> but that is it for now, guys. I will see you all later. Please rate the video. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Let's see if these guys rage quit. Yeah, here, as you can see, the mics just lighten up as they were talking trash to us and stuff. Wasn't very, wasn't very nice. I don't like people like that, but oh well, as they all start leaving. Oh well, guys, see you all later.